have a strong feeling we're not Bikini Bottom anymore. Looks more like the Wild West. Partner, I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, likes money? Crab problem, eh? <laughs> I reckon you're gonna want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Phew, what a fun ride! Yeah, let's get lying and ride it again. Sticky sweet. Sandra wants with this stuff. Oh, the only thing I'm gonna tell you is jelly sandwiches. Patrick, Cassandra knows what she's doing. If she says bringing her jelly will help get our friends back, then bring her jelly we shall. SpongeBob, what do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Barnacles, it's so small! We'll never fit in there! Why do we have to be so big? Oh, it's not small, Patrick. It's not? It's just very, very far away. We're safe, Patrick! It's Mrs. Puff! If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her! She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Here we have to get to know her first. Just like we got to know her the first time she got to know us back home, you know? No. What's this luggage doing in the middle of the desert? I think it dropped from Mrs. Puff's carriage.
death experiences on this ranch before. Yeah, it's the Wild West for you. Whoa, is that Mrs. Puff? What's she doing on a ranch? Mmm, I love ranch. Ooh, more jelly! Howdy, strangers. You came here by foot? That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. My very own license? Whenever you're ready, meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fe. <laughs> I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so, uh, so any chance we can skip this part? Oh, <laughs> nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> A little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. Ready, set, Point seven points. Go around. Phew, that was a close one. Keep on splashing.
Apparently means stop. <laughs> You can retry my riding test if you like. Just jump on the seahorse when you're ready. <laughs> Have six points <laughs> out of seven. <laughs> Only one point away from passing. Yay! Oh, can we repeat the test? It was so much fun. Oh no, that's not necessary. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. <laughs> Here's your license. Thanks, partner. Oh, license. <laughs> think she can. This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse-like animals, with the exception of... Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. Friend? My butt is killing me from all that riding you had to do. Don't bite. Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie. But hey, if you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, Ann, better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it zips straight. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little cactus soda showdown. There ain't a sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly Bandit 
like that. Let's see what you're really made of. Grab your straw. School. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Sheriff, Deputy SpongeBob. And Balloon Deputy Patrick. Are on the case. They're not even pretty. They're just green, juicy, and thorny. L like a cucumber that hurts your mouth when you eat it. Don't worry, Patrick. We'll be out of here as soon as we find more cactus juice. Uh-oh. Looks like it wants to duel. Point us in the right direction. Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%, I'll tell you where to find a cacti with the most refreshing sap. Folks pay insane amounts of money for him since the shortage. 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80, of course. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them Cacteen Hills. And don't ye scam your hard working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick, let's find those thorny cucumbers! <laughs> That's a big slingshot.
little dabble, do ya? Sign. It says, Cacteen Hills. Spines, deadly heat, bandits, and quicksand. Enjoy! This seems pretty dangerous, SpongeBob. Maybe there's a seahorse around here in need of a licensed rider. Oh, baby, that cactus is way up there, huh? meeting you here. Just, uh, checking on the barrels. You know, keeping them safe from bandits. There's juicy profit, I mean, uh, cacti, all around these parts. Now get! This is it, Patrick! That juicy cactus gold awaits us! Whee! Another old warning sign. It reads, Beware of bullworm? Why worry about a little worm? <laughs> seen a fish like this.
A vain man will break his arm patting himself on the back. A little dab will do ya. Confusion is a goat on AstroTurf. That looks fun. I bet I can get down faster than you. Don't live longer in the city. It just seems that way. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and order up. Chafing.
taping. Come on! We gotta bring all this sap back to that guy who looks kind of familiar. A little dab will do ya. My best friend. Ah, no more chafing. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the pizza for you and me.
more jelly. You got a knack for reaching them cacti. Just drop the juice in this here barrel for uh, <laughs> safekeeping. One barrel down. Follow that trail, my little saps. No more chafing.
No more chafing. Sad than that, boy. Oh. Activity. That little wormy must be pretty busy to make such big holes. Well, maybe we should keep moving, Patrick. A little dab will do ya. Who knew the desert was such a hazardous environment? like you've come a real long way. Be a shame if you screwed up now. This old sign says, Turn back! Mind closed! Hungry bullworm! Seriously! This little worm sounds like a big problem. How old is this sign again? Sorry, nothing for 
seasonal. Patrick, I think we've fallen down some kind of large, dark, worm-shaped cavern. That means it was probably made by a ferocious, terrifying creature, like a, a goose. I see, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, take me toward it. Wait, no, I'm not ready. Okay, now I'm ready. yet. It's so dark. Howdy, strangelings. What brings you to this whole place? If you're after gold, get lost! It's all mine! We really, really need to get back to the surface, Mr. Miner, sir. Our friend Soda depends on it. Well, I could let you use my elevator. But what's in it for me? Anything you want. There's nothing that this amazing duo can't get. Good. That darn Alaskan bullworm is obsessed with my gold. Knocks my shiny tooth out. Bam! Just like that. If you can get my tooth, I can get you up to the surface. in the nest of a giant worm, where would I be? Speaking as a slob who lives in a hole, I think something is living in this hole! Ew, it smells like Gary's litter box in here. That smell was not me, I swear.
Mm-hmm. I want a bit of gold nugget. You'd be worm food by now. But since you survived, did you find my tooth? Do snails leave slime in the woods? Of course! Whatever you say. The elevator's all yours, boys. Oh, and I don't know what you did down there, but it left a powerful stink on you. All right, let's take that elevator. That should lift our spirits. Forty seconds. Supplies. Hurry up, Patrick. We got ourselves a train to catch. May I? <laughs> Funny coincidence, huh? Bandits steal our train and busy crab tackers, to be honest. <laughs> Hold on! Mr. Krabs is the red-handed bandit! We have to get closer so we can bring him home!
SpongeBob, you gotta take me back. I beg you, this old soft shell won't last a day in jail. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. Listen. That it's not all about money? What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's always about money. I, 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 but I did learn that I can't put a price on me, employee of the month. I'm here to help, Mr. Krabs. We'll find Pearl and the Krusty Krab and bring them back on the double. That's a good lad. Now, off you go. I'm sure you can get around a little faster now with those new riding skills of yours. There are still a lot of friends to bring back home, Patrick. Let's ride! We should ask Cassandra where else we can find our friends. That lady knows everything! It's like she has this all planned out. SpongeBob, I need your help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket and we need you to stand it back up. We already built a meticulously calculated rig, but Sheldon didn't account for his own <clears throat> slight stature. Excuse me, there are more important things than knocked over trash cans. It's not a trash can, it's a bucket, and it's Bikini Bottom's sole restaurant. I know everyone would love to be eating out of a bucket right now, but the fate of the entire universe is currently hanging in the balance. No biggie, I'm sure the universe can hang in there until we've helped a friend in need. A water tower. I guess that's a tower that shows that you're underwater. That's stupid. I can dig it. <laughs> Ow! 
Ouch! You should have left me in the Old West, me boy -o. Prison would have been better than... Uh, a world without me money! Sorry, Mr. Krabs, but I promise I'll bring everything back to normal, including your precious money! I don't get why this doesn't work. My calculations are flawless. Maybe we can help. I don't need your help. But if you want to make up for this whole mess, I guess I would allow you to assist me. Here, use this super velocitous momentum enhancer that I invented to get the job done. Ooh, is that a bubble surfboard? Yes, but I gave it a fancy name, so I get the credit. I was so happy when I got back, I'm not ashamed to say that I ate some dirt. It wasn't bad. Yeah, I've never been in here before, but since the Krusty Krab is gone, I guess I have no choice. Does this place offer anything edible? Technically, yes. We citizens of Bikini Bottom must stand together in these trying times. So, let it be known that the Chum Bucket will humbly accept its role as the town's sole source of sustenance. You fools! <laughs> Plankton, I always suspected that deep down you were a contributing member of society. And don't worry, Patrick and I won't stop until we put everything back to normal, so no one has to eat at the Chum Bucket ever again. Wait, was that last part really necessary? Hey, Giggle Buddies, both of you listen closely. I managed to track Spot's trails, but they are scattered everywhere and are leading to all of those portals. Whoa. Spot is really going places. I said listen! You have to look for him in all those worlds you're going to. You're the only one that can bring him back. Don't worry, Plankton. We'll look everywhere for him until he's back home safely. Good. Now out of my sight. I can't believe that Amoeba would dare to go missing. How could he do this to me? I think you mean us. Right, us, yeah. School's out, SpongeBob. I have a bit of a heated situation here. Jelly! I like Bikini Bottom. So much pure, unadulterated jelly, so much raw power. To create your next costume. You should find it very familiar, but don't let appearances fool you. When you step through the next portal. Ooh, my 
my karate gear, the most stylish outfit I own. Getting around will be much faster with these seahorses. Will be much bulkier too, for you. These jelly things kind of look like something Squidward would make, right? Oh, yes. I think he called them... What was the word? Art. What do you call them? Samantha. Sandy's house feels wetter than usual. I think we might need to find the top half still. Patrick are on their way! <laughs> 